Hello, welcome. My name is Paige Wilcox and I'm so excited that you are here today or that you're here watching on the replay of this video. Earlier this week, I shared with you my embarrassing secret that I don't really love exercise. I know I am broadcasting to you live here from Wilcox Wellness and Fitness, our personal training business page, and you probably hear people working out in the background. But this is me. I rode the bench in Class D high school sports, and I should say that I only rode the bench because they needed an extra warm body to field the team. It was like the rules of Class D sports that you needed a certain number of people to make a team. So I did it, but I definitely rode the bench. I was a super nerd. I am the very last person you want on your dodgeball team. I can't even catch a ball if you lob it at my head. That's a true story. So if you see me in the grocery store sometime, throw something soft at me and you'll see what I mean. And it's really funny. I'm now in the health and fitness industry. We have over 400 amazing, consistent clients in two locations. Our business model is franchised and we work with a team of 10 full-time professionals that are absolutely world-class. So how did I get here? When I was set up for a blind date with Mike in 2006, I really wasn't too interested in dating a personal trainer, particularly my college professor's personal trainer, but that is a story for another day. I thought that he wouldn't have a neck. I thought that he would eat all his food out of little packaged containers of chicken and boiled eggs. And I thought that all that he did for a living was count reps and tell people to run faster. But I was very wrong. After getting to know Mike, I first fell in love with his compassion for people. If you know Mike, you know what I am talking about. He is incredibly compassionate and you know that from the first time that you meet him. Mike didn't train people to make them look better. They did. He trained them so that they could show up in their life as the very best version of themselves, whatever that meant to them, so that they could become the very best mom and dad, to become a better business leader, to excel in their careers, and to give back to our community. And the ripple effect that these people create in the world by their commitment to health and fitness that's the thing that inspired me to join our fitness business full-time as an MBA who was always packed, picked last for dodgeball. So how did I get here? I wanted to share my story with you today because I think that it's really relatable. And I've experienced incredible, incredible transformation for myself. Before I joined our business here, I was an account manager for a scientific distribution company. And with that job, I was either sitting in my car, sitting in a meeting, or sitting at my desk. And I was on the road away from home most weeks, Tuesdays through Thursdays, which meant I was eating out at restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner most of the week. Definitely not an ideal situation if you have any health issues. My upper back hurt all the time because I was always sitting in a rounded and hunched position. I was exhausted all of the time. I gave my best energy to work and at the end of the day and at the end of the week, all that I wanted to do was collapse on the couch. I would literally spend entire weekends on the couch dreading getting back to the grind on Monday and it wasn't because I hated my job, it was because I was exhausted from not prioritizing my health and fitness and from not taking good care of myself. And this is not the way that I wanted to live my life. I want to be the person that went hiking on the weekend like we just did. We just took a five-day trip to Utah so that we could hike. And I wanted to go have the energy to go skiing, which I love, and snowshoeing and kayaking, and overall just adventuring and living life to the very fullest. And Mike changed this all for me. He encouraged me to think about the life that I wanted and the life that I wanted to build with him and the life that we wanted to build together. Was this life that we were gonna have just be work, 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 and then Netflix on the couch? Or we, did we want something more? More energy, more adventure, more fulfillment, more to be excited about, and more to look forward to? And if you've been following me for a while, either personally or professionally, I think that you know that I chose more. And because of this very simple decision, I've been able to make 
some of my wildest dreams come true. Mike and I have taken our family to live and work in Costa Rica for more than a month at a time, and we've done this twice. And the first time, I still think about this and think how crazy we were, our daughter Brooklyn had just turned one. She was this tiny little itty bitty thing. And I remember packing the suitcase with her little swimmy arms in it, because you can't get that kind of thing in Costa Rica. And all of the diapers that we were gonna need for an entire month. Last year, we took our family on a nine week road trip across America in a 20 year old 36 foot RV that we literally had no idea what to do, how to use it. And if you know me or you know Mike, you know we are not handy people. Like we needed a team to help us change a light bulb. We are not handy that way. We had no idea how to run this thing. Um, so we took that road trip while we were running our business, while we were doing remote second grade, and meeting the, the healthy snack demands of our always hungry three-year-olds. And I want you to know that I don't say these things to brag. I say these things to tell you that you can make all of your wildest and craziest dreams come true. And it all starts with one simple decision. You see, I decided with Mike's help that I wasn't happy in a life where I worked out and I worked and I worked and I worked and I was exhausted from not prioritizing my health and fitness. Literally everything that I have that's good in this life is made possible by making health and fitness a priority. And that's a little too much to explain here in this video why and how that came to be, but stick with me and I will explain more. The point is committing to health and fitness has been a critical success factor in my life because it's made me feel better, it's given me more confidence, and it's taught me that when you put your mind to something and do the work, you can make it happen, even your wildest and craziest dreams. Mike and I have chosen to live full out. We don't want an average life, we want an absolutely epic life, and to us, that means adventure, limitless energy, and confidence to overcome whatever obstacles that present themselves in the pursuit of joy. And to do this, both of us need to be operating at full capacity. I think that we all can agree that the health and fitness industry is something that is incredibly difficult to navigate. Mike has spent the last 20 years experimenting, innovating, and distilling all the things that are truly important that will actually move the needle in terms of helping you and me feel great and have amazing energy levels in order to stay consistent with health and fitness. And before you say, well Paige, it's easy for you, you're married to a personal trainer, let me tell you I've had some pretty serious struggles with my health. After I had our son Hazen, our first child, I got very sick. I felt horrible, I was exhausted, I literally felt like my body was collapsing on its center line, like I couldn't hold myself up, like I didn't have, there was nothing to me. I could sleep for 10 hours and still feel like I had the very worst case of jet lag. I had rashes, <laughs> like it was awful. I would look at photos of myself in my home and I would not recognize the person that I used to be. It took nine months for me to be diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's is when your immune system attacks your thyroid gland and your thyroid gland is, is responsible for a lot of really important things like your energy levels, weight management, your mood, and all kinds of really important functions. <laughs> I did work with an endocrinologist, I got the medication to help my thyroid, but I'm very thankful for the lessons that Mike taught me to help me manage this condition and really to be able to not be defined by di my diagnosis, but to be able to live the life that I wanted. Mike taught me how to foam roll, to do some self myofascial release if you wanna get fancy, to alleviate the pain in my back. I do this for maybe five minutes, three times a week, and I don't have the pain in my back that I used to when I was in my 20s. He taught me to move my body in ways that made me feel stronger and gave me the energy to do and really enjoy the things that I love to do. He taught me to do really simple things like packing my breakfast, I can't find it, uh, in the morning to start my workday right and to drink half my body weight in fluid ounces daily in water. So super simple things that make a major difference overall in the way that you feel. 
if you implement them consistently. So with consistent action in these healthy habits, I started to feel amazing. The pain in my back was gone, my energy levels were up, and I had a new and clear vision for my life. I believe in my bones that committing to health and fitness is the catalyst that gave me the confidence to leave my corporate job. My corporate job that held our health insurance and everything to come on board with our tiny little startup with the goal of reaching more people and impacting more lives. And I'm so happy that I made the shift for myself to commit to healthy living. It's truly transformed my life. Now I have a career that I'm so insanely passionate about. I literally jump out of bed at 5 a.m. to make new content like this for you and to share my story, talk to you about my rashes live on Facebook, even though it's really uncomfortable. And we've been able to design a life that we absolutely love. We've been able to design a life to create freedom and adventure, to allow our family to live in Costa Rica, to go on RV adventures, even though we know nothing about RVs, and really just to be able to pursue the things that set our soul on fire. And we want to show you how to do the same. Mike and I have created a masterclass to show you the exact steps to commit to health and fitness so that you can live your life to the very fullest without any limitations. We were literally just working on it together, tweaking some pieces, and it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited for it, so I hope you'll join us. So if you've ever wished that you could put your healthy habits on autopilot, if you've ever dreamed about having limitless energy to do and enjoy doing the things that you love, if you've ever wished that you could find an exercise program that you could look forward to that left you feeling really good and worked with your body to alleviate pain rather than making you feel really sore, then this masterclass will be perfect for you. In this masterclass, you're gonna learn how to take personal responsibility for your health and fitness by understanding what truly motivates you. You're gonna learn how to put your healthy habits on autopilot. We're gonna take you through a five minute exercise for you literally to write down and schedule your healthy habits to actually make them happen. And then we are going to help you understand what five simple habits to focus on to create incredible impact in your life. So the masterclass is happening happening in the next couple two weeks. Um, Mike's going to be running, so it's still a little early to get registered, but I'll still drop the link below this video for you to do that. Mike's going to be running the show, um, and he'll be talking all about how to own your health, how to gain confidence, clarity, and control over your personal health and fitness through the simple, not so secret tools to create a solution for life. I'll leave the link to get registered. I hope that you'll join us. You're not gonna want to miss the talk. It's gonna be amazing. And we would love to see some friendly faces there to hype us up. So if you do join, please make sure that you comment in the comments because I'll be in the comments chatting with you. The dates to choose from are Tuesday, February 8th at noon. Wednesday, February 9th at 5.30. And then we'll also have one scheduled for the following week, February 16th. And then that's for the early birds. That's at 6.30 a.m. You're not going to want to miss this. It's going to be awesome. Be sure to get registered and be sure to show up live because we have an extra special gift for everybody that's live. I really hope to see you in the masterclass in two weeks. In the meantime, if you have any questions for me or for Mike, drop them here and we will be sure to answer them for you. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.